What's going on, video game voting vanguards? Your boy P City Substance here with another episode of Twenty Hour Tuesdays. Twenty Hour Tuesdays. The budget is twenty dollars. We're looking to add to our collection, whether that be consoles, games, merchandise, whatever we could get our hands on. So, as I said a couple episodes ago, I was probably gonna start allocating Twenty Hour Tuesdays to um, going to GameStop and doing the four for twenty game pickups. Uh, which I've done in the past couple episodes. And if you're unfamiliar with the 4 for 20, at GameStop, any pre-owned game, $9.99 and under, qualifies for 4 for $20 um, that you can get all games for under 20 bucks. It's a good way to build up your collection with some of the older games or classic games that you're uh, not familiar with. I'm not sure if it applies to uh, online purchases because I know at least here in Maryland, they don't do offer the retro games for sale in store, but you can do it online. And I know some out of state stores actually have the retro games and consoles in store, so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, let's get right to it. First game we got on our 4 for 20 is Star Wars Battlefront, which was released in 2017 on the PS4. It is an action shooter, it's the fourth installment of the Battlefront series. Um, of course, it takes place. Uh, along with the Star Wars franchise. I'm not sure if it falls in line with the actual series and timeline. I'm not sure it does, but it does have uh, some of the your notable characters um, like Stormship Troopers Star and uh, Dark Vader, just to name a few. Uh, so it's a pretty good game. Can't wait to check that out. Um, not really, quote-unquote, my cup of tea and my first choice of a game, but I decided to, I've been deciding more recently to expand my Horizons when trying different things outside of the norm. So, can't wait to give that game a check out. Uh, next is for Xbox One Deluxe Edition of Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm probably saying that wrong. Guarantee I'm saying it wrong. So, correct me down in the comment section if you know how that's actually pronounced. Um, that is That was released in 2017. It's an action role playing game. It's the fourth installment of Mass Effect series. And the plot is you're an inexperienced recruit. You can pick a male or a female. It takes place like 400 something years after some catastrophic event that uh, destroys their home planet, which I'm assuming is Earth. So it's your task as your character, whoever you pick, the, gr the guy or the girl, it's your job to um, find a new homeland for humanity. So even that right there seems interesting enough and grab my attention. So. I can't wait to check that out. The third game that I picked up was a replacement to a Wii U game that I initially wanted. It's not the same game, but this is something I think I was going to pick up next week, but it ended up falling in place because typical GameStop fashion, they got the game case on the shelf, take it to the counter, it's not there. Second week in a row, GameStop, let's get it together. So this is a uh, third game for the Xbox 360, Superman Returns, released in 2006. Also on the PS2 and the DS, they also had plans to make a PSP port, but that got scrapped because they felt that the PSP wasn't strong enough for this game. Um, so this is based on the film Superman Returns, and you get to do battle with Bizarro, Metallo, Mogul, as well as Riot. You get to play as Bizarro in one of the mini games. I'm assuming they have a couple mini games part of that get to travel uh, freely through Metropolis and they actually have Superman flying at the speed of light um, which is interesting they did a pretty good job with how they animated that so I can't wait to check that game out um, last but not least the game for the Wii U if you guys aren't familiar I'm a big fan of platform games uh, basically like an action adventure um, so I picked this up never paid any mind I know I've seen it before but this is Epic Mickey The Power of Two this came out 2012. Uh, it was initially released on the PS3, the Wii, and the 360. And then, of course, they came out with the Wii U port as well as uh, for the Vita and for Microsoft Windows. Um, there's a campaign mode where you play as Mickey. You're trying to save Magical Wasteland. You also have a co-op campaign mode that you can play with your friend, brother, sister, whoever. And they can play as Oswald, who I'm assuming is this other mouse kind of looking character that kind of resembles mickey i'm not sure where he falls in the storyline or the timeline of mickey mouse um but apparently he's there um there's a companion game to that game which is epic mickey the power of illusion is available on the nintendo 3ds which is something i'll probably end up getting just because 
you know, if I got this one, I'm pretty sure they go hand in hand some kind of way. So, um, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing, for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right below, right now. Hit that button. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Turn the bell on for the notifications so you'll be the first to know when the videos come up. Look forward to new videos Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. sharp Eastern Time. Uh, don't forget to check out the video game votary website, thevideogamevotary.wordpress.com. That's where you can find links to all the YouTube videos as well as links to the podcast. And I'll also blog on there so you guys can get a um, inside look of who P-City Substance is as a normal functioning human being. Uh, it's raw and uncut. I would not recommend it for children. So children, do not go there and look at the blog post. You may click the links and go to the videos because I do keep it clean. For the children but on there i'm just kind of venting and i'm being a human being so you get to see me in some of my vulnerable stages uh also check out the video game voter podcast available on all podcast platforms including apple don't forget to rate each episode the higher you rate the episode the higher we move up on the podcast and we get to get to that front we need to build these subscribers up build the likes and the shares i appreciate everything you've been doing thus far let's take it up another notch also if you want to donate to the video game voter www.patreon.com backslash video game votary you could donate straight, uh, straight to the video game votary helping out with equipment uh, trips to different uh, cons and different expos and stuff like that to get footage so I can bring it straight directly to you so I just want to thank you guys out there video game votary vanguard we're going to end the episode on that note this has been 20 hour Tuesdays it's your boy P City Substance and this is the video game votary